holy cow, we were freezing our tails off when we got here. But uh, there's that strange thing in the sky again. Love it. Thank you, Lord. Anyway, I had to empty Marge out. Well, I'm still emptying Marge. Uh, some of my trucks and trailers, uh, the last load they moved over here when we moved is still on them. But I got to unload Marge because Marge is hooking up to the old mule and going to get a very weird machine tomorrow. But anyways, uh, back on point. These sawhorses, I've had them laying around forever and they were old uh, flimsy floppy things and uh, it was because they were built with nails. So I just went and got two long boards, screwed the heck out of them to the top and then put screws everywhere. They had nails and they're real sturdy now. And the reason I need these is one thing that I did want to add on weatherproofing your RV is if it's had water damage in an area, definitely pop the windows out scrape all the old caulking off of them and recalk them and put them back in and I'm gonna do that and I've got my demolition done inside I'm ready to start rebuilding things but I'm gonna use those sawhorses pick them over there put them there so that uh, Jamie can push from the inside as I go around the edges with my putty knife and we carefully take those out because definitely don't want to drop one and uh, then I can lay them right there on the sawhorses clean them up, put my caulking on, and put them back in. Very important step in resealing your RV. Not even sealed at the bottom wall, and, and these have a lot to do with the strength of the wall. I can't hear you. I was saying. <laughs> I was saying. <laughs> What are you doing that for? Because it's very important that people know how to remove their windows to reseal them. Yeah, but it's very important people it's check what's on the other side. It's a very important part of the job. I don't know what you're talking about. I guess I did need her help. Thank you, honey. Oh, yeah, you can find that. Yeah, it would be good time to clean that out. I'll get this cleaned up and get it all called. Call. Call. This will help a lot. Here, let me borrow that for a minute, then. I got another knife. I'll give it to you as soon as I get these window frames out. All right? You need me to help you with that and thing? Yep. I do. I didn't think I needed your help, but then it turned out I was wrong. I was mistaken. Is it unlocked? Give it a good game, honey. There you go. That'll work. That's you tell me that. Yeah. Just everything. Just give everything a game. Yeah, but you like yanking on stuff. <laughs> This helps a lot. This helps a lot. <laughs> I can't see this now. Look, 
looked out my window. What did I see? Popcorn popping on the apricot tree. What's that for? That's for me. <laughs> I really saw that one time in my life. I'm not kidding. All that does is get that extra. Oh, that's good. Thank you, honey. All the grass. Yeah. Thanks. It's gonna help a lot. Come on, Anna. Let's go do our part. So this is the best way to reseal your windows. Just take them out. Don't even try to pry it open and squeeze caulk down in there. Get them out where you got good access to the slip. Seal them up. Yep. Well, I'm pretty sure this will get the job done. You see, I'm being generous with it. You could That's because this is our windows. Could be a cake decorator. Yeah, I could. Do the scallop. Would you shut the camera off? Yeah, go. I'm just putting it on there thick because when I smash that window in there, I don't care if it oozes out. You know what I mean? See, on a wedding cake, that is very cool. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I used to yeah. do that. We're doing it right now. Mm -hmm. Coming. Anyway, I put that stuff on super thick. I don't care if I gotta wipe up a mess afterwards. I wanna have that window sealed. Yeah, I better get them back in pretty quick because it ain't looking good as far as the sky goes. My fifth wheel's a little bit exposed right now. That's not good. Oh. Get that baby all sealed up. Tight as a drum. Be careful where you grab it. You got it? Yeah. That's how we look. What? What?
Jamie come over here and do the excess cleanup and we'll call it a wrap. So it's kind of late. Just wanted to get a shot of my uh, slide out before I start putting the wood and the paneling in. But I put in all new beams all the way around and lots of new insulation. Just really crammed it in there. So it's got a lot more wood in it than it used to have. Uh, it's a lot more solid and it should be a lot quieter and uh, keep the heat in better and keep the cool in better uh, with all this additional insulation and the reason I have so many beams uh, vertical beams is because I'm going to be putting in some heavy wood in there instead of just paneling I will do paneling on the ceiling because that needs to be light but I also put in some extra beams up there because before all the light fixtures were just attached to paneling and that's the way it came and I don't think that helps so put in some extra beams so I can actually screw the light fixtures to those and like I said I put a ton of extra ones on the back wall there because I'm going to do something kind of cool with that and use some wood that Jamie's been working on anyway that's enough for tonight. Getting better. out of our winter home here in Malala, Oregon, the Stagecoach Motel. This we gotta wait to make this video. Wait. We wait. have to make it tomorrow. I forgot, we do have to stay one more day. What? <laughs> she just saw the look on her face. April Fool's! Yeah, you it's know what? April you got me 1st. twice, actually. I, yeah, you just got me again. Yeah, you just got me three good. minutes I can ago. get you all day long. It's kind of cool that we're moving out to our property on April Fool's Day because we plan on having an annual barbecue with the bonfire and everything every April 1st and it'll give us plenty of time to prank everyone. Totally. Anyway, it's, uh, these people are really cool. The rooms are nice. This one doesn't look nice right now because we we're still in. moving out. And uh, But we found cool stuff when we were moving out. I found Annabella's favorite most comfortable Where, sports bra. Where'd you find that? Well, Behind I mean, that. <laughs> Yeah, she likes that. We had that propped up on a suitcase with a blanket in it. But anyway, it. <laughs> we believe in giving credit where credit's due. So, but this is a nice place, and it, it's it been is. quiet. You know, uh, motels are motels, and Jamie and I stay in a lot of motels going around the country, picking up classic trucks. And as far as they go, this has been a very well-run, clean, uh, professional yeah. place to stay. And the people are friendly and nice. And it's the only one in Malala. So I do have customers that come from out of state or even other countries and need a place to stay. This is with uh, five or 10 minutes from our property. Uh, the rates are really reasonable for as nice of a place as it is. And we, I don't know what we'd have done without this place yeah. over the winter. They saved our bacon. It's you know? quiet. It's safe. Yeah. We had no problems here. Yes, Post American flag. Right there. Mer Zoom in on the flag. 
And then let's go down here. I'm proud and, to uh, be an American. And I won't forget the gift of Ricky God gave to me. <laughs> hey, oh, I was like, hey, hey, check out that sweet car. That looks like thunder. Oops, and then I was like, whoa, it is thunder. Oh, and by the way, this Chinese restaurant has the bomb food. Oh, yeah, the Chinese it's restaurant really good. next door. But and the other cool thing about this motel is like when you go in the reception area, like we've been in some where like, you know, they're not very friendly or you they're can't stuffy. understand yeah, them. Or, These yeah. guys, it's like you just roll up to your mom's house. She's got Scentsy burning in there and it smells like mom's bacon garden. biscuits. And, Get a garden. And it's very clean. And everybody, this is the... Stage coaching. Anyway, well, all it's like a really cool town for small towns. They have all kinds of stuff going on out here. There's all kinds of antique places, all kinds of historical stuff. They have the uh, Lull of Buckaroo, which is yeah. this insanely huge event that goes on out here and just keeps all the outlets, as far as highways, packed with cars coming in. And out oh, here. the Malal, that's Buckaroo. That's like the week party. Well, a buckaroo, yeah. yeah. Oh, the whole look town it. just goes. Look, there's a butter. Cool. As I tip it, tip it through my garden, <laughs> where all the pretty flowers go. Anyway, fall. we do appreciate the stagecoach in and Malala for getting us through the winter. But today it's sunny for the third day in a row, and we're moving out to the property. Got a few things to finish up on the slide out, but I think you're gonna like it. Annabelle is going to jail for breaking noise ordinance 500392 or two April Anna Fools. And just had a spot, she's looking good. She did. She's all ready for spring, and you found your favorite sports bra. Yes. Yes. Now, where are you going? Where are you going today? She's trying to pick a fight with me. Sometimes I interrupt her with the camera. Cause she's a dum dum sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dum dum, you got gum gum for me, dum dum. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Let's go. Where are we going? Where we're are we going? Going to get a banana. Yeah, but then where are we going? Then we're going Maxburg or bus. What's on Maxburg? There's Starts a, with an H. There's ends with an O. Over there, that they call the classic truck branch. It's a tiny little place, might not even be on a map. And if you go there and you sit on snow, home skillet point on the snub nose creek. Come along with us and we'll give you a peek. <laughs> what? <laughs> April 1st, 2016. We are actually coming home. Sitting not leaving after this. Yeah, this is it. We're gonna be roughing it now, honey. No more of that fancy schmancy hotel stuff. You're gonna be out here in the woods. Permanently with, out here in the woods with me and my Ooh, dog. I can't think of my vicious place. attack dog. Where else would anybody want to be besides <laughs> stuck in the woods with you? Yeah. I can think of a few people that might say that'd be a nightmare. <laughs> well, not me. You are yeah. a dream come true. Oh. How come it's not closing? Oh, it is closing. Your Rick it didn't beat. Woods. It didn't beat that time, but it is closing. <laughs> that sure makes life easier. Plus, we don't have people cruising down the driveway while we're out here. Running around naked. <laughs> My name is Ricky, Ricky Rumplewoods, and I'm a mm. sweetie. <laughs> My name is Ricky Rumplewoods, and I'm a sweetie. There's Bully, look at him. Bull. Bud. She Bye. loves that truck. You need to fire that thing up. We need some more rock out here. It's time to finish off these driveways. I know. I wonder if he needs a. If I need to bust out the AED on him. AED? Get his heartbeat going. A new edition. 57 Chevy. Got the rest of his parts coming with it in about a week. Dino. That's Dino. It's kind of old. Oh, look. Uh, Yogi Bear. Sprouted a bed. Yogi Bear is bad. Yeah. Tail. 
tail. He is bad tail. <laughs> Rocky. Ready to go to work. I got the PGE guy coming by today. Gonna show me, uh, just go over with me again what I gotta do to make dedicated electricity happen out here. Looking forward to that. What a beautiful day to come home. This has been a lot of work, huh, honey? You ever do anything as hard as this? No, I look like Curtis. <laughs> hey, this has been the Curtis. thing I ever did. Like, when I used to haul dahlia flowers, it wasn't this hard. It's like, <laughs> now I'm hauling carbon. Taj Matan's been holding up great, doing a great job. And then there's trouble. Like, he's up to trouble. He's up to trouble. He's always up to trouble. Look at him. He's troublesome. He's been, he's been giving Chief the ropes. Schooling him? Mm hmm Chief might have been schooling him a little bit. Chief's got a few years on trouble. Mm -hmm. Old McDonald. Old McDonald. Banana <laughs> Jim Wetzel. Jim Wetzel? <laughs> <laughs> Friend of ours named Larry Wetzel likes that truck. <laughs> Like I said, they're all for sale. That's how you rescue them. JW. Anyway, we're going to go unpack. And we'll be back. In the little work zone over there. Still can't believe we're actually moved out here. Beautiful day to move out here, though. April 1st. Yep. Finally on the classic truck ranch. Honey? What? I know it's a bit much to deal with right now, but one of them deer is dead in the back of Road Apple. We, do, we gotta call uh, one of the two, I think it's one of the two we always see, and it's in the back of Road Apple. It looked like it, its hoof got caught in one of his. What was? It, what would it be doing in? There wasn't anything in there, right? Hey, they don't need hay, do they? Grass. They don't do. Uh, it got caught in one of the rock rust parts. The rust holes, yeah. So you gotta call it. Well, then they're gonna. Were they gonna question why we're out here? I don't know if it's dead. Look at that. I don't like to hear what it. This is going to happen every year on April 1st. I know, honey. <laughs> Dad's having a little fun with Mom right now. <laughs> no, we're just getting started. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. You wait. I'm gonna get you. Too. I know you I are. Got yep. <laughs> That's three. One time I got her with the same thing twice. <laughs> yeah, like boom, boom, right after. <laughs> All right, back to work. Mush. Let's see what you've done in here. Looks like a cabin. Look at the walls. Windows. Awesome.
good, honey. Yeah, but you make it beautiful. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I already did. <laughs> no, I do love what you do with the stuff that I make. You just make it better. Anyway, got the window frames almost done. That's some boring wood right there. I'm pretty sure this is the only fifth wheel in the world that's got a wall like this in it. Right? Yeah. It's our first night, our first, it's our first night on the property and what's it like three o'clock in the morning and we're working, know, when we said morning. as soon as we get here all we're going to do is lay down and go to sleep, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm signing off honey, I think I got that wall done, right? my floor up got my little addition done and lined up and she smoothed the seam between it well if we were doing it right we would pour this leveling stuff. I'm sure we would but uh, we're doing a lot in a short time Finally, waking up on the new classic truck ranch. Jamie's kind of taking over my little chair out there. Yeah, this will work.
This is what I deal with every day. Hey, Addy, what are you doing there? I just what caught you a snake. <laughs> he has a smile on her face. Look. <laughs> yeah. It's a garter snake. It is a garter snake. Yep. What are you going to do with him? Yeah, I'm going to let him go. <laughs> okay. Don't don't let him go right in front of that, though. Ooh, he stinks. <laughs> yeah, he's probably pooped on you by now. Now I got E. coli, F. coli, gonorrhea, everything. Okay. Well, wait, what do we do today? Yes. <laughs> Actually, this is part of my hair. I turn into Medusa at night, right? Yeah. Well, the ex lady. Follow the <laughs> Sleeps like an X in the shape of an X right in the middle of the bed. <laughs> what are we doing today, honey? We are going to an undisclosed secret location. Look at what? <laughs> today we're going to look at uh, 57 Chevy. Got the mole trailer all hooked up to the gopher jamie's truck and we're heading out to look at a 57 chevy pickup uh kind of a involved story but uh guy restored the truck okay uh guy restored the truck has a leftover truck and a bunch of parts and we're going to look at them because i think there's everything that we need here to make a 57 Chevy short bed step side pickup and one of my customers one of my very good customers uh, just got a hold of me wanting another project so we'll go see if this will work fifth wheels coming along great you are not gonna cut that meat it might be a redneck if oh my gosh you are I'm hungry <laughs> I'm tired you might be a redneck if there's evidence of uh, Salami. smoked sausage on your uh, skill saw blade. <laughs> okay. I don't know where the knife is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. <laughs>